Hi, I'm Theo Gilbert Jameson, your Team Huddle Guru, and in this series, we're focusing on creating a culture of compassion in the workplace and how it enhances the customer experience. So let's start by defining compassion. For clarification, it's a non-judgmental emotion we practice by easing the stress and pain of others. It's our way of demonstrating that we understand and care. And when we create a culture of compassion, some of the characteristics are a great sense of teamwork, an understanding of others, a lower sense of stress, and an increased commitment to our organization. On the other hand, when there is little or no compassion in the workplace, we are impatient, rude, and abrupt with each other. There is low, a low level of trust, and people absolutely hate coming to work. So how does creating a compassionate work environment really benefit our customers and coworkers? Well, when we demonstrate compassion, people are more trusting, they feel that we have their best interests in mind, and subsequently, their satisfaction increases. In this series, we're focusing on creating a culture of compassion, and in this segment, we're discussing how to demonstrate compassion. So here are three simple ways each of us can positively impact someone's day. One, be considerate of others, listening fully without judgment, and giving the person your undivided attention. This means no texting, phone calls, or appearing to be bored when someone's talking to you. Two, communicate in a kind and friendly manner, demonstrating a genuine interest to help others through sincere communication. And three, practice simple acts of kindness, going out of your way to be helpful to others. Keep in mind, sharing wow stories during our team huddles provides great examples of things that we do every day for customers and each other without ever expecting anything in return. So the question is, who on your team would you say is very compassionate when it comes to helping others? And what are some of their qualities that we can all emulate? While compassionate action is a second nature for some, Anyone can use these skills to make a customer, a coworker, or friend feel a little happier and a little more valued each day. In the previous video segments, we establish that compassion is genuine sympathy for the hardship, stress, or pain of another and a desire to ease it. With that said, what are some of the benefits of creating a culture of compassion in the workplace? Well, studies indicate that when there is a culture of compassion, customers feel their issues are resolved quicker and more efficiently. And demonstrating compassion also reduces the stress and anxiety of others, it increases self-worth, and it creates positive emotions. And as for employees, when we have a culture of compassion, there's increased commitment to the organization, lower levels of absenteeism, greater teamwork, and ultimately lower levels of burnout. Remember, there are many ways to demonstrate compassion, but what's most important is that it genuinely comes from the heart. So far, we've shared the definition of compassion, examples of how each of us can demonstrate it, and benefits of creating a culture of compassion. So the question is, what's the opposite of compassion? Well, in work environments that lack compassion, people dread coming to work, there's cruelty, animosity, and negative energy, people come across as cold, mean, and hostile to each other, and most of all, there is no consideration for others. So if our goal is to raise the bar in the level of service that we provide every single day, remember a major part of this goal is demonstrating compassion, especially when helping others in need. So as we wrap up this topic, creating a culture of compassion in the workplace, here are a couple of key points that I'd like to reinforce. One, when we create a culture of compassion, it leads to greater employee engagement and lower levels of stress, negativity, and employee burnout. 
Two, when we create a culture of compassion, it also leads to higher levels of customer trust and it reduces their anxiety and stress because they feel that we care. And three, the best way to demonstrate compassion is to be considerate of others, communicate in a warm and caring manner, and to practice simple acts of kindness like those we often spotlight with weekly wow stories doing our team huddles. So the final question is, what will you do? How will you apply what you've learned? What are you committed to start, stop, or continue doing to help us create a culture of compassion? Well, we can all start by being more patient, kind, and considerate in our interactions with others. Next, we can stop partaking in negativity or speaking harshly, especially when we don't understand others. And last, we can all continue raising the bar in how we treat each other, which should always be with the utmost in dignity and respect. Thanks so much for viewing the series and have a wonderful day.